Right. Good morning, everyone. Settle down now, please. Uh, now, as you may know, uh, we were hoping to have Mr. Jeremy Irons with us this morning, talking to us about the art of acting in the cinema. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Irons has had to cancel due to an unforeseen awards ceremony. Um, but uh, I have been able to procure the services of a local actor, Mr. Uh, Bernard Hupper, who was uh, luckily uh, not busy. So uh, it's my pleasure now to read for Mr. Hupper uh, as he illustrates his own lecture on Shakespearean acting entitled The Actor's Art. Is art by Bernard Huffer. <laughs> At the centre of the Elizabethan world sits the king. Upon the character of the king depends the plot, and so there are many different kinds of king. The benign king. The benign king with a physical defect. <laughs> The Mad King. The Evil King. The Evil King hatching a plot. The Mad King hatching an egg. An important part was also played by messengers, distinguishable into many different types. A messenger enters bearing good news. A messenger enters bearing bad news. bearing indifferent news. which he thinks is good news. <laughs> Death came swift and often in this brutal world. Come at the hands of a total stranger. <laughs> or it could come at the hands of one's closest friend. was particularly popular, applied to the frothing cup of ale of the unsuspecting victim. First we look at the simple poisoning kill. <laughs> and then the villain attempting to use poison. But in the end, 
And all these were merely devices, amounting to nothing whatsoever without the plot. At the centre of the plot stands the hero, who is king. <laughs> he has a twin brother. <laughs> who is a villain. With a physical defect. War comes and the hero must lead his men into battle. At the gates, the hero's mistress waits to bid her lover farewell. <laughs> and the villain's mistress bids her lover farewell also. The war rages on for many years. <laughs> Until, at last, a messenger arrives bearing the bad news of the death of the hero. <laughs> so the villain becomes king. But the message was wrong. And years later, the hero returns. In disguise. revealing his identity to the audience by means of a surreptitious wink. <laughs> but his brother, the villain, recognises him, and they fight. <laughs> Finally, the villain is mortally wounded. He dies. his rightful throne and celebrates with a frothing cup of ale found by the side of his brother's throne.